Hello everyone, I cordially welcome you all to another video from the Python tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss what is the interactive mode in Python. So if you are interested to learn about this interactive mode, stay tuned with us. So when we download Python, Python comes up with a lot of things. First of all, we will discuss about them. The first one is the Python interpreter. In the IT industry, when we develop software, we use a high level programming language. This high level programming language is human readable, but the computer only understands zeros and ones, which is called machine level language. To convert this high level language into machine level language, we need an interpreter or a compiler. An interpreter interprets instructions of high level programming language into machine level language line by line sequentially, which our system understand. It is to be remembered that an interpreter takes less amount of time to interpret the source code. Due to this line by line sequential execution, time is comparatively slower than compilers. As no intermediate object code is generated, hence interpreters are very memory efficient. So basically, every programming language which we currently use is either interpreted or compiled or maybe both. So Python is an interpreted programming language. So what is the work of an interpreter. Interpreter interprets each line of your program sequentially and converts that into machine code which your PC basically understands. And due to this interpreted nature of Python, it is much fast. Okay. Now let's proceed. The next thing which we are going to discuss is Python shell. We know that Python is an interpreted language. Python provides a Python shell which enables us to execute Python instructions line by line. Python interpreter in interactive mode is known as Python shell. When we type any Python command, Python interpreter goes ahead and execute it and then waits for the next instruction. We invoke the Python interpreter by typing Python in the terminal which in turn invoke the Python interpreter. Okay, so basically when we are telling that we are going to learn about the interactive mode in Python, basically what we mean is we are going to play with the Python shell. Okay, so we have done enough of theory and I believe you are also getting bored of it. So let's proceed and let's do some hands on. So as you can see, we have opened the command prompt here and now we are going to play with the interactive mode. So as I have said to play with the interactive mode, we need to first open up the python shell. So we will write python here and it has opened up. So you can use this shell to do a lot of tasks. Let's learn. So the first thing which you might use is python shell and the interactive mode in python can be used as a calculator. So basically if we write 2 plus 2 it will return us a 4. If we write 2 plus 7 plus 5 it will return us 14. If we write 9 minus 5, it will return us a 4. If we write 45 into 2, it will return us a 90. If you write 42 divided by 2, it will return us 21.0. Okay. If you write 43 divided by 2, it will return us 21.5. So as you can now understand, this interactive mode in Python can be used as a calculator. Okay. So this is one of the very essential tasks which Python provides. Not only that, but you can use this as a string concatenation purpose. Suppose you write I am, then again you write a programmer. Now when you click enter, you will see I am a programmer. It's my bad that I have missed out a space in the middle. But basically what here I am meaning is when you write two strings separated by space, it will concatenate those strings and will show you in the output. So now it will show in the proper fashion. I am a programmer. Okay. So there is one more thing which I would like to discuss with you. Suppose I write 45 plus 5 it will return us 50. Now suppose with the last value which we have got, we would like to add plus 100. So the last value of this calculation is always stored in this underscore. So if underscore plus 100 we write, we will get 150. Because the underscore 
basically stores the last calculated value now here as we have got 150 now the value of the underscore is basically 150 now if we write underscore divided by 2 we will get 75.0 because 150 divided by 2 is 75 okay now another trick which i am going to discuss with you suppose you write your name here i am writing my name and you write into 5 it will return your name written five times back to back okay if you think this looks dingy you can add an extra space and now it will look beautiful okay so this python shell is very helpful to do some certain small task even you can assign a value to a variable and when you write the variable you can get back the value okay so any proper python instruction can be executed in the python shell i hope the python shell is clear with you let's go back to the slide i hope you liked the video and found it informative in case you like it feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel we are going to bring more videos in future for any queries doubts suggestions or feedbacks feel free to post them in the comment section we are going to reply so thank you for now see you in the next video bye